to just two. Go down to just one. That'll do. Decisive victory. Marvellous. Those fast guys are basically Roman Usain Bolt divisions. Yeah, kind of. I've been enjoying the last couple of streams. I managed to catch so far the series and the Warhammer one. Thank you for the intermittent. Absolutely welcome. Hell, I enjoy playing them. That's why I started streaming this stuff. I was like, hey, I like playing games anyway. Now if I start streaming it, maybe I can monetize it too. And make a job out of it. And that's what I've done. Yay. Um, okay, so I did not lose anything. One of the units got kind of hammered. But that's fine. These guys tend to have a lot of off time to just recuperate. Because enemy navies don't really exist. Took a bunch of attrition from the famine. The famine's still ongoing. That is irritating. Yes. I was expecting that to have ended. Because I really want a replenishment to finish. You're still taking attrition because you're probably in one of the starving locations. Yes. Alright, so Galaxy is starving, but you're starving acceptably. <laughs> Lugdenesis and Aquitania are starving a lot. Lugdenesis makes a lot less money. So we're going to turn off your taxation. And that should allow things to balance out. Your champion, Myanmar, is leveled up. That's good. So we can get some more replenishment. And some more training. Ready for orders. And it's still snowy in spring. We hunger for battle. So I think what I want to try and do is have you moving about halfway and then just Ready establish for a fortification or a camp so then you're immune to attrition. Like that, where you actually replenish more than if you were in the city. That's kind of hilarious. Alright then. Actually kind of good to know too. Uh, you've leveled up. I would very much like for you to spread religion better and do some more public order. What province are you in? You're in this one. Yeah, they're getting a lot of public order from that. Excellent. You're staying put. You're staying put. You are still in port. Replenishing. Excellent. Ready for battle. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those. And I'm also going to give you the Palatina that you are currently lacking. I think I'm going to go all four. I'm super tempted to get some of these, though. And they're slightly cheaper. They're good at hunting people down, but we're fighting the Huns. I mean, Exilatoras are amazing against heavy armor. So if we were fighting like Eastern Rome or something, I'd use these. So the Preventor has prevented a disaster. <laughs> Do I still have a Hilarious as a general? No. He died a long time ago. Alright, so I would not be so surprised if next turn we can actually launch an attack against the rebels and finally end this sodding civil war. Alright, and then place is still running out of food. You're upgrading everything, they're built next turn. You're upgrading, they're also built next turn. Uh, Narbonesis is still rebuilding, but you're not going to be done for a while. You could do with some converting stuff. Stuff. You know what? An auditorium here would be great. Also need to switch out the market stalls. Really? Market stalls become a library rather than a forum. But everything does. Uh, oh no, you already are. Um, you repair over time, so that's fine. I'm going to leave the church here for the time being until I establish the uh, Pentarchy in Rome again at some point. So that I can actually recruit priests and do converting stuff. You're making me 7,000 a turn. That's delicious. You are now inspired. Yeah, so as public order improves, my income will improve as well. As we get the buffs. Thought I was hyped for the endgame Roman skirmishes. I was! But now I have endgame crossbows, which are even stronger.
Because I have elite ballistari who are armoured and have long range. High ammunition. They shoot 22 times. That is quite a lot. I mean, a lot of my units are high-end now, including and especially the large onagers, which are basically just First World War artillery that we've somehow imported. My blockade of Britain continues, so they can't escape. Speaking of endgame, what is going to be the win condition here? Well, like, the short-term victory would definitely, or the short campaign victory would definitely be the fall of Attila. Whether I continue beyond that point, I don't know. I'd kind of like to see what some of the other factions in the game are like. Be careful, the time police is on to you. Oh, is that why Attila's here? Well, Attila was the one who came with them. I learned them off of Attila. Conquer Crete. <laughs> I mean, my current actual official objective is to conquer Eastern Rome. I'm not sure I'm going to have much left to conquer, though. I don't know that I can be bothered to do a long protracted war against the Sassanids. Because Bussy and I, next week, no, week after, will be trying the Goths again. Whether we use the Imperium mod or not, I haven't decided. Because the Imperium mod seems to actually start them with land, but they are still great migrators, so I don't really know what that means. And the Visigoths start allied to Eastern Rome and the Ostrogoths start allied to Western Rome. But I'm pretty sure that that relationship will break down. Or we could do Vanilla, where they are actual nobads, and you can try and pick where to move. Um, so that would be cool. I'd also quite like to play... Um, like one of the successor kingdoms, the Franks, maybe. And the other thing I'd like to do is Age of Charlemagne. Play as Charlemagne. Faction encountered the Danes. The Geats have switched. Oh, they've become Latin Christian. Excellent. That means they're not going to be converting me anymore. They're actually going to be converting all the stuff up there to my religion. That's super helpful. And yeah, the Danes are back in the game. I think they were wiped out. How are the Huns ranking right now? Last time I checked, they were third. Attila's still way over here. And yes, they have just burned all of this stuff. The Gratugians used to be up there. So now that you're I being obliterated you, by Attila, uh, how about that trade deal? Really? Still? A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be well, like a I spear add a little bit of an incentive. <laughs> you really don't want to make money, do you? And if our relations are decreasing again. Damn it. Sassanids, how about some do trade? Not wander in like a desert beggar. Didn't think so. Gratugians, we've already seen. Jutes? Are you brave or fool? Septimania, I'm going to be destroying you, so I don't want to trade with you. Danes? Gods of the afterlife, spare me. Angles? Uh, yeah, the Angles probably would. Welcome. We will talk and then we will feed. Excellent. Another trading partner. So we're actually trading with quite a few. Like, this is one of the nice things about the late game, is because we have, like, settled all the wars and the successors are starting to move into the ruins left by Attila and the Huns, um... There's a lot more peace and trade going on between us. Like, they don't all want to just kill us. Which is quite nice. Alright, so... You guys have all been positioned. Am I lack I'm lacking... No, I'm not. We've got more. Um, you are now at full strength. Let's go and put you in Rome for the time being. Call this a garrison! But we do now have a full legion here, which is nice. And then we have the two legions here. We hunger for battle. Ooh, I could hire from a passing... Oh, Nordic Spears. I think it is time for us to begin advancing. It's summer. It's definitely the season for a campaign. 
Let's start shifting these forces forwards and hopefully they'll come and attack me. And we'll just go and sit right on the border. Commander. And we should support each other. And this is a pretty scary Roman army right here. At your command. Especially this one. We've got the Herculani Signiores, which are like the super high tier we hunger for infantry. Battle. And also the uh, Scolae Palatine. Commander. This army is slightly older and slightly more battered. For battle. You guys, I don't want to Before waste orders. money upgrading you. Because Canuti. Cornuti Signoras are a lot more expensive than Auxilia. Um, right. Buildings. So, virtually all of the food supply issues are sorted, except for Aquitania, which is still starving. But at least just not starving as much. So, good enough. You could do with more food, I think. Italia just needs the cities here rebuilt, but that can wait until I'm a little bit more secure than I am currently. And you could do with a little bit of investment. Well, no, because your growth isn't actually high enough yet. So we just... wait. Yep, the civil war. Our armies are finally moving to end this sodding civil war. At last. Oh, and also all of the additional food that we are now producing hopefully means that you can start paying taxes again. And you're going to get a farm next turn, and then the turn after, and then the turn after that. So food supplies in Lugdanesis should start increasing, and yeah, our economy is definitely recovering. How goes rebuilding the empire so you control Gaul and Iberia? Uh, all of Italy was lost, all of Gaul was lost, all of Africa was lost, regained most of Gaul, regained all of Africa, and I'm in the process of retaking Italy. We've taken Rome, so Rome's back out in ours again. And we've killed Attila once, so we probably still need to kill him another two or three times. He will end the civil war just for one of the generals to get illusions of grandeur and start it anew. No! Well, one of the nice things of ending the civil war would mean that all of my generals gain plus one loyalty. Because right now they're losing a loyalty, they're losing three public order, and something. I think there's three penalties. Gortina's fallen. Crete's gone. I think the Eastern Roman Empire might just be Myra. Attila the clone, exactly. Oh, here they come. They're going for it. Four full stacks versus two, but my two are elite. Yeah, they've gone for it. Oh, flipping hell, that's going to be 11,000 versus 4,700. That's a lot of baddies. That's an awful lot of baddies, and they've actually got elite Palatina as well. They do have one set of high-end artillery. But I'm hoping that they won't be able to take the field very soon. I do have Cairo Ballistas. Let's do this. It looks like there's a slight hill, but I think I'm actually on the slope there on the hill. Uh, no, other way around. I'm on the hill. They're in the valley. Yeah, we're on this. Oh, flipping hell. Hell yes. This is actually a really good position for us. So we can put crossbows here. That will give us an extra little boost. Put the artillery up here. In fact, what we could even do is put the Cairo Ballistas here. Yes, on the slope Commander. itself so they can shoot over the heads of our troops. We can put the crossbows just beneath. We're going to have to be very careful with the cavalry, so I think I'm going to leave them in reserve. 
I should be aware that they're going to come from that Give direction. For God in heaven! By your command! Yes, Commander! Let's make sure we're on the actual hill. Then the general can hide in the woods and hopefully still provide buffs. We await your command! You lot are going to be armor piercing because you're going to have to be. You guys are going to be explosive, and you are not going to shoot until I tell you to shoot. I think I'm actually going to leave the Cornuti Senioris guarding the artillery. Well, no, because my reinforcements are going to be guarding them. So I should really just have these guys just deployed. So we're going to put the Palatina in the center. And... And I think I'm going to go with three spears on this flank. Relatively deep. And two on this side. Yeah. We have honored God and in his name. Enemy reinforcements have been spotted. Have all the world against us. We will stand and beat them. This is going to be a hell of a fight. Thomas! Here come the Herculani. Um. You know what? I think that the Herculani need to take the center. So we are going to move all of these guys aside. The Herculani are going to take this position here. Put three of the Palatina on that side. We're going to put two of them. this side and then the Cornuti yeah. these Cornuti are going to be the reserves we've got our uber heavy cavalry who are going to hide in here as well we have the additional artillery that's going to form in a second line of artillery here The additional crossbows basically form up along here. Mounted warband! Equity promoted! Melee troops! Ready and waiting! Herculiani, senores! Elite Palestari! Elite Palestari! Um, do I want you guys firing now, or do I want to wait until we're in close combat and you can do the, like, super accurate fire? We're going to wait for the super accurate. I'm going to put three of you here, just in case. Right, 
the second general. Thankfully, they've not just tried to charge through the center. They've actually given me a bit of time to uh, form up. That was quick! Crikey! Alright, so they are going to try and flank me over there. So I think I'm going to put both of my Cornuti Seniores just to protect that flank. So I'd really rather they didn't shoot at my generals. Alright, send in the artillery. Those guys. <laughs> that was a bit close. So similar to like World War Two artillery, just like, all right, fire, close factor, range, fire. I just made up all of the commands because I don't know what they are. I've never served in the artillery. Well, so far we've killed a thousand five hundred and lost barely a hundred. How the hell have you got behind us? Not that it really matters, you're about to get obliterated, but still annoying. Come on, big guns, hit them. Hey, oh, that's one of their other generals. Oh, excellent. I mean, if we could chase them off, that would be brilliant. So you're a bit closer. Good, that's them routed. Let's bring the cavalry back. You're murderizing those guys. Let's send them to me. It's just in case. Ah, 
that's 3,000 dead. Am I using any archery mods because your crossbows seem way more effective than yours? Nope. Just with uh, crossbows, make sure they're firing heavy shot. That's the most important thing is to make sure the ammunition is appropriate for the job that they're doing. And also these are like top tier uh, top tier crossbows. Um, right, I think I want to drop some shells about there and there. Fire. Right about now would be great. That's going close. Damn, I love those things. They are so satisfying. Um, all right, I think we need to spread out our shots a little. Let's go for here and continue here. Fire when ready. That's 4,000 dead. Um, you know what I need to do? I need to get my cavalry actually engaged right now because there are so many enemies routing. I should be taking them out if I can. Might even send you out. Just need to be careful of reinforcement cavalry coming in. reinforcements but they are not cavalry. Let's have you guys hold your fire because this has been a butchering. <laughs> I've just <laughs> I've killed 6,000 and lost 600 that's 1 to 10 kill. This was definitely the right time to unleash the cavalry. Alright, let's make sure you just keep sweeping up in front of us. And don't get caught by the others. Oh, I think one of those pikemen dead. Has used all its ammunition. That unit of elite Palatina is being extremely stubborn. <laughs> 